Maya has been around Amaranth too long. Sacrifices we make for art. Right. Amaranth is right. <laughs> Morals are boring and expensive. <laughs> yes. Tell them. Time to get an OnlyFans. <laughs> what? So I can buy my boyfriend all the smoothies he wants. Hey, Arjan, what's your take on there Turkish band cats? You did not, you actually did not just say that. Sacrifices we make for art. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's see the comments on Managed this one, to dude. Even with the epic game of fuel resellable Liddell. Oh, Miz did not like that one at all. Look at his face. Yes, he's been honest about this before. He pretty much implies he'd break up with Maya if she ever started OnlyFans law. Maya would make so much money. She should post tit pics. I'm not clicking cum fart sniffers link that says she should post tit pics, dude. Rescue's ego can't handle Maya making more money than him. That's actually true. I mean, he probably just doesn't like the thought of everyone seeing nude pictures of his girlfriend. I mean, wasn't he having a breakdown to the XQC because Maya had a higher view count than him? Lol. Wait, really? What the fuck? Or by controversial, we know you want to. Dude, I really do. I really do. You're so right. Maya can start OnlyFans if she wants. She can. Doesn't mean the Miz will stay, though. Please do not degrade yourself for currency. Amaranth is hardly a good role model, and Maya is just saying this to avoid an awkward situation. What? Why? Like, bro, you say this, okay? The people that say this, the people that say this work at McDonald's, dude. It's called capitalism. You are literally degrading yourself for currency every fucking day. I, I do not understand. Like, you think your job is, is not degrading when you're a fucking dumbass manager on right who's now. only, like, above you in a, in a role because he's been there for a longer period of time than you? Yelling at you about how you can't take, uh, you know, breaks to go watch Hasanabi in the fucking bathroom. Like, you, you think that's not degrading, dude? You're an adult, and another fucking adult that's, like, only been there for a little bit longer than you is, like, controlling every aspect of your life. One guy in the comments compared OnlyFans to slavery and got praised for it. Oh, my lord. You coming in with wage cut takes? I mean, it is though. It's the truth. Oh, like, I don't understand. Everybody degrades themselves for work. Like saying sex work is slavery is like saying all work is slavery. And there is somewhat of a truth uh, to that sentiment. Hey, but guys. OnlyFans is like significantly better as a way to make money than your average wage slave job. And on top of that, like for example, when you sell your body to the fucking armed forces of the US military, you are literally selling your body and fucking your body up so you can get a college education. At least with OnlyFans, and, and the outcomes aren't even positive, not for you and not for the people whose like land you are on and invading, okay? At least with sex work, it's like, you know, you're, you're making people happy. They're like cranking their fucking, they're beating their meat to your shit. Well, it's wrong. Both are wrong, lol. Then what job is right? Unless you're a crusty anarchist living on the fucking streets, never using uh, deodorant. Like what, what job is out there that is like ethical in that, with that respect? Have you seen her OnlyFans content? It's not really crankable. Amaranth's OnlyFans content? I've never seen it. <sighs> when Amaranth
Amaranth is around, she acts more freely and accepting of her work and jokes about opening OnlyFans, etc. But when she isn't around, she's talking about how she stuff she does on her stream should be banned and is objectifying her on Twitch. How asking Maya if she finds OnlyFans so offensive? Getting to watch firsthand why whoring has been social taboo in every human culture for thousands of years. What a time to be alive. I don't think it's a good take. It's an appeal to tradition. Yeah, whoring has been considered taboo. Do you want to know why? Are you ready for this? In the aftermath of the Black Plague and in the aftermath of, of uh, you know, death and destruction with, so much, with a significantly higher infant mortality rate, the churches wanted to ensure that people were not fucking, uh, uh, people were in like committed relationships with their wives in monogamous relationships so they weren't spilling their seed elsewhere. Prostitution isn't even as big as a taboo as Americans think it is in most other cultures around the world. But a part of like the reason why prostitution is considered to be uh, a big taboo is because if you're out fucking prostitutes, husband, you're not husband, fucking your husband. wife. You're not staying at home fucking your wife and like having multiple children. You know? Didn't Amaran say she made a million dollars a month? Doesn't that seem degrading to me, to be honest? In fact, this sounds pretty liberating. Yeah, exactly. Please read this one. As a leftist, I think we should always support sex workers, but not the sex trade. What does that even mean, dude? I, I, like, the entire world was Europe. Do you not recognize that uh, through colonialism and um, through, because of colonialism and imperialism, like, European culture pretty much did become the entire world's culture by force for the most part? Another reason is also because of illegitimate heirs having right to property, certainly. There is a materialist uh, uh, foundation for all of this. Anyway. Morals equals boring and being poor. OnlyFans equals $1 million dreams coming true. But what does OnlyFans have to do with morals? This is an uneducated guess, but I'd wager that women selling themselves cause some men to not respect women and to view women as objects to be purchased. Dude, everybody knows. Everybody knows that before OnlyFans, like, women were so respected, dude. We respected women so much that we forced them to be in kitchens, uh, taking on traditional gender roles that we associated with uh, womanhood. And also routinely uh, did rapes, uh, probably more than we do now. So that's, you know, but then OnlyFans came around, and of course that all changed. Women as options to be purchased, if that's true, then it's immoral for women to sell themselves through sex work. Of course, again, um, no, uh, patriarchal understandings of women do not come from uh, men thinking that women are selling their bodies or whatever. As a matter of fact, sex work like this has been, a, has been such a controversial subject because it is liberating for a lot of women to monetize their own uh, objectification and set the terms for their own objectification and be able to make money off of their own objectification rather than being objectified for other people's gains in an inappropriate manner. Doesn't this is the reason why a lot of people fucking absolutely hate sex work and get mad at sex work and can't fucking, uh, you know, uh, can't deal with it. If that's true, then it is immoral for women to sell themselves through sex work, whether it's online or offline, because it negatively impacts other women. I support you could, I suppose you could argue that those men should just be more mature, but we don't live in an ideal world where people think rationally or even agree on a variety of topics. I'd also say that women making millions of dollars on OnlyFans is unjust because men don't have the same opportunity available to them. This creates a class divide between genders. A class divide between genders? Where women get rich simply because they're women and fosters resentment among men? What the fuck? Wait, 
he literally advocated for men to have OnlyFans and make more money. But his starting point was that this is logically inconsistent in the same paragraph, dude. If the premise, the false premise that you're starting off with is that uh, women uh, do sex work and therefore they are objectified, then how are you going to fucking wrap up your argument with men should be objectified in a similar capacity and make as much money as women? Like, not only is this completely logically inconsistent, it's even, that's my favorite thing. When someone builds their own, like, little logic bubble that is completely illogical, but then own themselves in that same, like, illogical bubble that they've created, like, you're building a universe for yourself and you're not even abiding by the rules that you set for yourself in that universe. Anyway. Lego. He also said we can't expect men to be more mature and women are responsible for men's horniness. I mean, there's so much going on there. There's just like every part. Every part of this take is bad. Women making OnlyFans, this is immoral and we should stop them. Men objectifying women. Look, society isn't perfect. We can expect any more from them, but any more from men. close friend who streams on Twitch does OnlyFans. She's gorgeous. I'm super proud of her making her way in the world. The thing I don't understand is like, sometimes I'll have fans that have like my free cams, right? And it's like, dude, and I'll see like, I'll see how attractive they are or how cool they are. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, how are you just still like, I almost want to help them and be like, dude, all you got to do is like, literally fucking stream on Twitch a little bit, get a OnlyFans, and, and, you know, like, you're already a fucking gamer. Like, what are you doing? Like, there's so much... <laughs> I want to help people become more successful at sex work. I don't know if that's fucked up or not. If you fap, you're a misogynistic prick. Yeah, dude, totally. Jerking off to uh, a sex worker's uh, content, which is literally built so you can jerk off to it, is actually misogyny. Soda Poppin said the same thing. Yeah, well, because Soda Poppin and I are both... What the fuck? Strike a dragoon. Thank you for the 100 gifted subs. What the fuck was that, dude? That was crazy. My man just showered me, dude. Let me become better at sex work. I'm begging you, lol. Like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>